What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys everybody's favorite squirrel, Pachirisu in ranked regulation. Now I haven't used Pachirisu in Scarlet and Violet, so this one is gonna be a first for me today. But Pachirisu's main focus is support and support only. As you guys can tell for his moveset, we got Nuzzle, Super Fang, Protect, and Follow Me. So we're gonna be able to half Pokemon's HP, Paralyze, and Redirect Shots. Pachirisu also has Volt Absorb and the Citrus Berry as its vitamin ability. Should be a great support Pokemon to help his team thrive to victory. Other Pokemon on today's team would be Fluttermane. Now, Fluttermane is going to be awesome. Fluttermane's got in person and Trick Room, so we can counter Trick Room Pokemon alone with just Fluttermane. Final four Pokemon are all physical attackers. You got Arcanine, you got Ogre Pine, you got King Gambit, and then you got Galarian Zapdos. Now, this Galarian Zapdos does have Defiant just like King Gambit, so we can counter Intimidate really well with this squad. On top of that, it's got Cobra Cloak with Tailwind for speed control and coaching to boost allies' attack and defensive stats. So if we want to pop that, we can really get after that with a physical attacker such as Ogre Pond, King Gambit, or Arcanine. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using the Squirrel. First match on its way, and we're going up against a dreaded combo. Chiyu, Fluttermane, always so strong in ranked battles in Scarlet and Violet. They also have Garchomp. They got Zapdos, another big time combo. They can freely EQ there. They can freely discharge. Pretty strong combo. Final two Pokemon, they got Ogre Pond and Cresselia. Now, a Pokemon that I do want to lead here is probably going to be my Pachirisu, right? Alongside with most likely my Zapdos. Do I want to do Zapdos? You should have Steel Terra, but oh, you have Fire. Fire's actually perfect. I was going to say, Steel Terra kind of stinks up against Chiyu and Fluttermane, but Fire is perfect. So I am going to end up leading both of these guys. Maybe follow me, pop in a Tailwind, kind of get an effort that way. In our final back end slots, I think King Gambit could be pretty good, especially with Sucker Punch and with a Bulk of Cresselia. And last but not least, either Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, or Arcanine. And Ogre Pond is going to be great here with special defense boost with its terror type. Um, it does have water absorbed to kind of counter their Ogre Pond. But Zapdos rips up into that as well. Hmm. It's either Fluttermane or Ogre Pond at this point. It's either Fluttermane or Ogre Pond. And I'm kind of leaning towards Booster Energy flu uh, Fluttermane. Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do, especially because the speed's rather high. Yeah, 171 special attack with booster energy. It's going to be hitting hard. I like it. And if we need the pop trick room, we probably won't have to. We could always do that. We can always do that. So let's just see who they end up leading here. We're trying to rock out with the Pachiri, so I might just start Nuzzle. I love a good old Nuzzle. Paralyzes, speed control, all in one, all in one package. All in one package. So we'll see who they want to lead. If they do lead Chiyu Fluttermane, I'm going to have to terrestrialize my bird. And we're going to have to go from there. But they're going to lead Chiyu Fluttermane. Okay, so yeah. We're trashlizing the, the bird right now. Um, I could nuzzle. I could follow me. Um, most likely going to be double hitting moves. So I think I just protect Pachirisu. And I might just set up a Tailwind just for a bit, bit of speed control here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Protect you. Terrasalize you. Tailwind up. Definitely Tailwind up. I think it's just a solid turn, especially with the terror type. Right, fire terror neutralizes heat wave damage. It neutralizes fairy type damage. It's going to be good all around. So we'll hit the terror button. And we'll try to get some speed control for the squad. The next turn from here, I'm trying to figure out what I can do. It depends if they terrestrialize the Chiyu or not. Because I would love to just go for a Thunder's Kick into that thing and just KO it, right? That wouldn't be a bad turn for us. So we protect the Pachirisu. A little bit of protect action. And let's see what they end up going for. Moonblast coming in hot here. Which does that much damage. We should be able to soak up a heat wave. And our Zapdos outspeeds the Chi, which is good news. Real good news. And there's the heat wave. Cool. So Zapdos will soak this. We now have some decent speed here. Um Do I follow me? Do I nuzzle? I think I just follow me and I go for a thunderous kick. Right into this thing's mid. There's no way you're tearing into Ghost now. There's no way. There's no way that you're, you're going to Thrasalize into Ghost. There's just no There's just no shot you're hitting that Terra Bomb. I, just, I do not think they're going to do that. And the reason I say that is because if they were going to Thrasalize, they should have. They would have done it in uh, turn one, right? So to Thrasalize here just, just makes no sense. 
But now, since I said that, they're gonna Thrasilize. No, they don't. Cool. So my instincts were right. Follow me comes out here from Pachirisu to dodge the Moonblast, hopefully. And Thunder's Kick KOs you if you're not sashed. Cool. So Chiyu, gone. Show me Moonblast. Show me Moonblast. No dads and gleams around. Show me Moonblast. I'm gonna go for a taunt. Okay. I don't mind that. I got off my follow me. My Zapdos stays live. I can start nuzzling around. I can start handing off free nuzzles. Free nuzzle buzzles coming out. Let's see who they throw out here as a third Pokemon. It is gonna be Cresselia. Um Do I nuzzle that? Do I nuzzle that or do I nuzzle the Fluttermane? I think I nuzzle this. I think I nuzzle that and I just go for a Brave Bird into this thing. Even though I think this thing is gonna protect and I really wanna swap into King Gambit. But I'm just gonna throw a Brave Bird in the slot. Hopefully it doesn't protect. It doesn't. Cool. The Brave Bird flies through here, chips up some big time damage. Did we just die did we just die to recoil? We do. We do die to recoil. Curse of Soul. So Crest could be going for Trick Room. I do have Sucker Punch in that case, which is good news for us. And Moonblast is going to fly into the Patch of slot, which Patch of soaks rather well and eats up its berry. Awesome. We love it. We love the little squirrel. We love this little squirrel. <laughs> Nuzzle comes out here, is going to chip up about negative five damage to this Cresselia. But more importantly, we use it for the Paralyze. So we Paralyze Crest, and it's going to Calm Mind Boost. Yep, you are getting super fang. We're so getting super fang. You are so getting super fang. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. So they didn't Terrasilize yet. They're probably saving it for this crest here. And I think now we just go into Flutterman, right? Yeah, we'll save our King Game. We'll save our King Game. Because Fluttermane's the best call because then I can just Dazzle Gleam, double hit, take out their Fluttermain, and on top of that, I can just super fang this crest. Get off some nice damage. So we'll save our King Gambo. We'll save it all day. So Super Fang coming out here. We're still taunt it. And then I'm just going to dash and gleam. A little bit of gleam action. We love it. The Crest is now Calm Mind boosted. Probably with the moveset of something like Ice Beam, Moon Blast, Lunar Blessing, Calm Mind. That, that sounds that sounds decent. For me. And they're going to Terrasilize the Crest here. So Crest is going to go into a straight Poison type. Which is rather good. Rather solid, but still Super Fang is still going to half it, which is gorgeous. Dazzling Gleam is going to finish off the Flutter Main, do minimal damage to that Cresselia. And we're going to hope it's still paralyzed here. Just let it be paralyzed. Super Fang always works wonders, especially up against bulky Pokemon. Look at that. We like that. And he's going to Calm Mind Boost again. Okay, so Lunar Blessing is definitely what it wants to do here. We still have Terra, so we might just want to dial down and get after the Pokemon that is in this right slot and just turn this into a 2v1, 3v1. I think that's my best bet. This Garchomp is going to come out here with no Terra. With no Terra. So you know what? I'm just going to Super Fang this thing again. And I'm just going to Dazz and Gleam because you might just protect the Garchomp. You might just protect the Garchomp. I'm going to Super Fang again in case a Lunar Blessing potentially comes out here. Lunar Blessing will, will actually heal the Paralyzed too, which is a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. So we'll see what, what Garchomp wants to do. And it's just going to protect, which is totally fine. Because we're just doing the same thing. Now next turn, I can just Moonblast into that. And look to actually finish that off. I think Lunar Blessing would come out here. Can you be Paralyzed? Can we get a little bit of Paralyzed action? Kind of need it. We kind of need it. But Pachirisu doing some nice damage over here. He's going to go for a Stored Power. You soak that, don't you? Yeah, all day. That's a big time soak. We shake off the Taunt. We love it. From here, we are just going to go for... I don't even know. Follow me? Yeah, let's just follow me. And then just go for a Moonblast. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think Moonblast KOs you. So, we follow me for a little bit of support on the squirrel side. Moonblast is going to fly. Do you not have Lunar Blessing? That'd be awesome. Moonblast KOs. We still have King Gambit. Now everything's looking pretty perfect for us, right? King Gambit in the back end. We follow me. He's going to go for a Moonlight. Not that big of a deal. Um, we're just going to keep half an HP, keep chunking up damage until, until we bring out King Gambit, right? So Super Fang. I really want to bring out King Gambit right now. And honestly, I'm going to bring it out right now because I believe a what's it called is coming out here. I believe a Stored Power is coming out here into the Fluttermane slot. So if that's the case, 
King Gambit's Dark, immune to the uh, Psychic type. That'd be huge. It'd be lovely. It'd be lovely. So King Gambit comes out here, showing me distorted power. Super Fang coming out here first. Yo, I love Super Fang. I love Super Fang. And it finally gets paralyzed. That's, that's a big time paralyze. When we needed it most, Paralyze comes out here. And we're we're going to go for another Super Fang because we can, and Kata Cleave's going to be our best friend. Right? Kata Cleave. Did we already use our Terra? Oh, I forgot we used it on the bird. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. The bird was clutch early on. And finally, they just cancel battle once they see King Gambit on the field. Moving on to match number two, and Pachirisu shined in match number one. We put it out on the field as our lead, and it stayed on the field for the whole entire match. But something that's funny, every time I see Pachirisu, I think of the scene in the Disney movie Up, where the dog's sitting there, he's like, squirrel! That's like such a funny scene. I love it so much, but that's how I think of Pachirisu. It's just squirrel! <laughs> so I think I'm just going to be calling it squirrel like that for the rest of today's video. But back to the action, we're hopping into our second match going up against an Arch Ludon Rain team with Pelipper, with Tornadus, with probably Water Urge too, and then they got Fire Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. So I could lead the Squirrel. The Squirrel! Again, <laughs> I love the Squirrel. Um, not a bad lead for us. We can Nuzzle. We can follow me. We could actually go into the same lead, which I kind of like, right? I kind of like. I mean, if you do have a Fake Out user, we do have Cobra Cloak, so that's going to be pretty good for us. So I'm going to go into both of them. In the back end, we are going to go into Intimidate user. Or do we go into Ogre Pond? I think Ogre Pond could be good, especially with all the water type Pokemon. So I'll go Ogre Pond and then either Arcanine, King Gambit, or Fluttermane. Who do I want? Who do I want? I think Fluttermane is just going to be solid because it hits a lot of things for neutral damage, which is really, really good for us, especially a Pokemon like Arch like the Archer Ludon. So Fluttermane is just an, always a good go-to if, you, if you're ever if you're ever struggling. Just, just trust me, go Fluttermane. Fluttermane, fairy type Pokemon. It's a lot of things for neutral damage. All right, cool. So let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be Tornadus and Archer Ludon. And we bring out the Squirrel and Zapdos. Zip Zap. So Zapdos, we could just go for a nice, lovely fighting move here. We could just go for a nice little fighting move, but I believe you were going to Terrasilize. So in this case, I am just going to Paralyze the Archaludon. And do I Terrasilize? We're going to follow me. Hmm. In Tailwind. I think I have to. I think I have to Terrasilize. Actually, no, not yet, because I think they're going to they're gonna, uh, Tailwind here. I'm gonna follow me, but I was gonna say Bleak Wind Storm's really scaring me, so I don't really want to put that. And he's gonna set up a rain dance. He was looking just to go for Electro Shock. And we set up a Tailwind. The Tailwind comes out of here. We follow me the shot here. Electro Shock comes out of here. Pachirisu. It's probably gonna half it. We do have Citrus Berry, which is good. Actually, it might not even half it. Pachirisu's rather bulky. And I have Voltage Orb. My fault. I totally forgot. So Voltorb comes out here. Voltorb comes out here. I think we just go for another follow me here. And then we Terrasilize just so we don't take big time damage to... To a Bleak Wind Storm. And we just get after it. Even though I think they're going to Tailwind this turn. Let's see what they end up doing. Let's see. So Voltorb, Pachirisu helping us out. This thing is plus one on special attack now, which is rather scary. So I'm still going to follow me just in case he wants to maybe switch up the move and go after my Zapdos again. So I'm going to Terrasilize. I, I don't like Bleak Wind Storm one bit. I do not like it. Forgot about our Volt Storm. That's huge. The Volt Storm comes out here. Um, they're going to Terrasilize the Archer Loot on turn two, which is kind of annoying. And let's see what they got cooking. Very flying. That's a little flying type. So that's pretty good. We do have Nuzzle. We do have Nuzzle Buzzle. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Because we do that. I think he goes for Bleak Wind Storm this turn. Or even Tailwind. Probably Bleak Wind Storm, right? Nope, Tailwind. The Tailwind flies out here. Um, Thunder's Kick. Not going to do anything crazy. Might be time to start Nuzzle next turn. And that move just looks so cool. It looks so sweet. And we do get the Defense Drop. That's huge. But you get it right back with Defense Boost. Okay. That's fine. Dragon Pulse going to fly through here. That is plus one. Pachirisu... 
does take some big time damage, but Citrus Berry helps us out. So Citrus Berry helps us out here. Oh my lord. Special attacking is a big time problem for us, or the defensive problem, I should say. It's a problem. So from here, I could Super Fang that. It's just going to raise his defense. And I might just try to double down into this thing. I might try to double down, or I can just go for a Nuzzle here. And then Brave Bird. Oh, what do I want to do here? This is tough news. You know what? I'm going to Nuzzle you. And then I'm just going to Brave Bird this Tornado slot. He's going to end up taunting me, so that's actually a solid call for me. To just go into this Nuzzle this turn. And Brave Bird's going to fly into this slot. Doing some nice damage. Bringing down the red. Bringing you down the red. Chance are he takes out my Zapdos this turn. But we do get off a Nuzzle. We do get the Paralyze. So hopefully... Maybe he'll be paralyzed this turn. He's going to go plus one on that stamina boost, which is kind of ugly. It's real ugly, but we'll see what he wants to do. He's just going to go for a Dragon Pulse here and take out my Zapdos. So Zapdos dies out to that. We don't like this Pokemon, man, but we do not. I'm hoping Nuzzle could KO this, uh, this, what's it called? I'm hoping Nuzzle could KO the, uh, Tornadus. I don't have Terra anymore, which is real ugly. I could just go into Ivy Conjo with you, which isn't a bad call, but your defensive boosts are just absurd. It's just absurd. Oh man, I don't know how I explain this one. I do not know. I think our best bet is just going to you. Just go for Dazzling Gleam and then hope that in the rain, my Ogre Time can really thrive here. Right? That's our best bet. That's definitely our best bet. It's definitely our best bet. And from here, I'm actually just going to Nuzzle to finish this thing off. I mean, Dazzle Gleam can. Actually, yeah. No, you know what? We're going to do that. We're just going to go Super Fang. Deal some damage on the Arch Lead on, And we're just going to go Dazzle Gleam here. I'm terrified of this Flash Cannon coming in here. Terrified of it. Because I don't think Dazzle Gleam's going to do enough damage. Bleak Windstorm actually comes out before anything. Probably going to slow us down, but still. Arch Lead on with that Paralyzed. That's going to be big for us. Dazzle Gleam flies through here. Picks up the KO. We like the crit on the Arch Ludon. It does get a stamina boost, but can you be paralyzed this turn? Patrice is going to Super Fang. Bring this thing down the red. Can you be paralyzed? Can you be paralyzed? We need a big time Patrice to paralyze, and of course we don't get it. So we do not get that. Um. Okay, now we're sitting here with our Ogre Pond. And yo, Arch Ludon is just a menace. He's so good. So good. Tailwind's gone. They have one turn left in Tailwind. You are paralyzed. Um, Pelipper comes out here, which is super scary. I can't deal with that, especially a hurricane. Do I spiky shield here, maybe? And waste out their last turn of Tailwind? Still taunted? You are still taunted, which is ugly. It's real ugly. I'm gonna have to spiky shield here. I'm gonna have to. I can't... I can't take this, uh, this hurricane. I cannot take this hurricane. <laughs> I just can't. So we're going to have to waste out Tailwind. We're going to have to waste out Tailwind here. This will be the last turn of the rain as well. So we need a big time Paralyze. We really do. If not, Archelou is just going to eat us up this match. We need a big time Paralyze. Pachirisu, paralyze this Archelou down for me. It's been paralyzed for a few turns. We just need to miss a turn. We just need to miss a turn. And now it's time. Now it's time. So we spike shield up. We let their Tailwind wear out here. Um, and there's the Hurricane. Pachirisu should still be... Oh, actually, it might not outspeed this Archeludon. Because our Tailwind's gone. And it doesn't. And Flash Cannon is going to KO us. Sad news. Sad news that we don't get to Paralyze that. But I think from here, Ogre Pond needs to... I don't even know. I don't even know how Ogre Pond can win this match. Is there any possibilities? Obviously, Horn Leech is our best bet, but we need Archelion to just be paralyzed for a couple turns. <laughs> and let's be honest, that's not happening. So, match number two, gonna go to our opponent, no doubt in my mind. He's gonna end up withdrawing. Hold up, are you giving me a shot here? You give me a shot? He going into, you're gonna go into Ogre Pond. Thinking I'm going into a water move? No. That's weird. No way you read that. But I guess you did read that. And this thing is just still not paralyzed, which is absurd. Which is absurd. So from here, he's just going to spiky shield. And we just got to hope for paralyzes here. Let's be honest. 
let's be honest here, but yeah, I should have probably just ran that match. We're going to be one and one for today's video. Pacharisa doing pretty solid, but Archer Luron just being a massive threat to us. I don't get the whole Ogre Pond swap there. I just don't get it. I don't really understand it. I think they're just toying with me at this point. I think they're just toying with me, which I don't really care. But there it is. Dragon Pulse flies out there. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final. Look for that winning record. Moving on to our final match, and thank the lord our opponent doesn't have Archaludon. Archaludon's so good, really counted us in that last match, ultimately giving us our first L for today's video. But they do have Slacking and Weezing, which is a pretty strong combo. We're definitely going to have to watch out for it and try to get after it. But who should I lead up against this team? Because they also have Inner Focus Dragonite and Inner Focus Entei. So we have no fake out users, we don't really have to worry about that. Um, it does block Intimidate too, so our Arcanine is actually not going to be that good here. But I think they are going to lead like Weezing and Slacking, that's not a bad lead. So I could just go Pachirisu, try to get some speed control there. And I could also go into maybe like the Bird. Or I could just go the Bird alongside with like King Gambit, which wouldn't be bad at all. It would not be bad at all. And do you have Fairy Terra? I believe you should have Fairy Terra, yeah. I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to go into both of those Pokemon. Um... Our abilities wouldn't matter, but I mean, I kind of like this. I do like this lead. We're going to bring Pachiri Suit in the back end, and last but not least, either Fluttermane or Ogre Pond. And I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane just because it's so solid up against every single Pokemon on their team, besides Entei, which is actually making me want to bring Ogre Pond. So you know what? I'm going to bring Ogre Pond here. I like Ogre Pond. I like Ogre Pond. I would like uh, Fluttermane a little bit better here if I did have Shadow Ball on this Fluttermane, but I don't. I just have Moonblast. And on top of that, I have Dazzling Gleam. So two fairy moves. Would rather have a little bit of a split kind of thing with Shadow Ball and the fairy move, but it'd be like that. But they're going to end up leading Slacking and Weezing, which I don't mind. I do not mind. Um, Weezing could throw Burns. A little bit of a threat to me there. Um, and to be honest, I kind of just want to coach this thing up. And maybe just Terrasalize and go into like a Cow Attack Cleave. Into this Weezing slot. Because a burn is a problem. A burn is a problem. And if we can get rid of Weezing, that could be huge. That could be huge. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right after Weezing. Hope it's not protecting. And he's just going to terrestrialize the Slacking. So Slacking is going to get this terror most likely. And go into Fairy Typing. Yeah, we're doing the same thing. Because I know this thing does Rock Drain Punch. And King Gambit would not take Drain Punch too well. It would not take Drain Punch too well. So we're hoping to get the Coaching Boost. Get that defense boost to help out the King Gambit alongside with that attack boost making it stronger. And then we'll go from there. So double fairy type on the board. Fairy type is just, it's so solid defensively, right? Really good defensively. The coach is going to come out here. We're going to say, hey, yo, King Gambit, here's a little bit of stat boost. Good thing the Weezing's not protecting either. We, we want to get that thing off the field as quickly as possible. Play rough actually going to fly through here and take out our stat boost. Wasn't expecting that one. I was expecting more of the drain punch. And they're probably burning my... You're definitely burning. Yeah, you're definitely going for the burn. And we dodge it. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's massive. That's massive. Big time burn dodge. Big time burn dodge. So this thing is going to get back some HP from its black sludge. Um, from here, we could bring out Pachirisu and just take the burn from there. Um, huh. Yeah, we're just going to go for follow me here. Follow me, go for an iron head into the slacking. Because most likely Weezing protects here. I would think it protects. He either protects or goes for Will-O-Wisp. That's definitely his best bet. So I'm just going to go follow me here. I'm going to launch an Iron Head into the slacking slot. And yeah, there's a protect from the Weezing. So smart call for us to actually just lay off of it. Because a lot of times Weezing is going to protect. In efforts to just stay on the field longer to keep the neutralizing gas up. So that's exactly what they do. The hard press can come out here. A little bit of steel damage. Not very effective, which is massive. And Iron Head going to fly and KO. Brings you down to one. Is that free focus ash? Get a free focus ash for no reason. Leave it on one HP. Just what I want. Just what I want. So from here, we're just going to go for another follow me here. Just so our King Gambit doesn't get burned. And we're just going to Sucker Punch. Just in case this thing wants to attack. Right? Yeah, we got a Sucker Punch. Can't, can't allow this thing getting off another turn. We don't like the damage output. We just don't like it. There's that Sucker Punch flies through here. We can say bye-bye to Slack. And King Gambit getting after it here in match number three. I do think Will-O-Wisp is going to fly. I think that's their whole plan is just to spam Will-O-Wisp at this point. 
And yeah, that's it. So, Pachirisu, I'll take it all day on that thing. Not on my Gambo. Not allowed to be on my Gambo. Not my Gambit, baby. The Pachirisu taking one for the squad, taking a little bit of burn. King Gambit still rather high on the HP board. Actually, is it full? I think it is full HP. It's full HP. And it's just chunking up damage. Plus one on defense, plus one on attack. Ogre Pond now comes out to the field. Um, I could Kowtow Cleave this, and I'm definitely going to Kowtow Cleave this. So I'm going to go follow me here again, and just go for a big time Kowtow Cleave right into the Ogre Pond slot. Right into the Ogre Pond slot. Who spiky shields. Man, spiky shield comes out here. He's probably going for another will o -Wisp, let's be honest here. Let's be honest, probably going for another will o -Wisp. I would think so, right? Or maybe a Sludge Bomb this turn? You got Haze. How dare you? You take away my defense and attack boost? How dare you? How dare you? So he probably thinks we're going for another follow me. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Let's... He probably thinks we're going for another follow me, so I'm just going to nuzzle this turn. Instead of going for a follow me. Nuzzle the Ogre Pond. And do I do damage to the Weezing? We do have Ogre Pond of our own in the back end. He seems kind of annoying. I'm gonna nuzzle you. And I'm just gonna keep Kowtow cleaving. I'm gonna go into the Weezing slot. Ivy Cudgel flies through here. We survive. Go for another Will O Wisp. Go for another Will O Wisp. Go for another Will O Wisp. That's my. That's my bet. Is there. I, my bet is they're not going for another Will O Wisp. Nuzzle comes out here. We do paralyze that. There's no way you're going for Will O Wisp. Not into my King Gamer slot. You are! How dare you! Wow, my whole play soiled. I guess they thought that the Ivy Culture was KO in the Pachirisu. Rather smart. So now I'm burned here. Can I get some crits maybe? No damage whatsoever. No damage whatsoever. We might just, we might just want to paralyze the Weezing. We might just want to paralyze the Weezing. Wow, that hurts the soul. So Pachirisu should be fastest on the field. So I am just going to end up doing that and I mean I guess we can just start launching Terra Blast because would Terra Blast actually do more? Would it do more at this point? I think it would because it goes off of whatever stats higher your special attacking or regular attacking so whichever one's higher is just going to do more damage. I believe that's how it works and I don't I still don't think it does like any damage but we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try. Maybe we get a crit or something. Better than not. Better than none. Horn Leech flies through here. Yeah, this one's looking rough. And you get a crit! And you get a crit. So Weezing actually doing us dirty there. We should just stuck with the follow me's. We should just stuck with the follow me's because having this thing burned is just oh, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So Patrice still burned. We're gonna look to nuzzle this Weezing yet again. And try to go from there, right? <clears throat> it's just it's brutal out here. It is brutal out here. So we'll do that. We are just gonna stick with uh maybe we'll get a crit with this. Maybe we'll get a crit with this, and we'll double down to Weezing. I'd rather get Weezing on out of here. Especially, cool, your spiky shield here. The spiky shield flies through here. I actually might give Pachirisu another turn. And another turn with Pachirisu could be actually very good, because Super Fang helps us out tremendously. Yo, get a crit here. Get a crit with the Kowtow Cleave. We'll never get a crit. Sludge Bomb flying, we died to that. So... Pachirisu getting another turn is actually pretty good for us. So obviously we can't go for Ivy Culture. We know we can't. We have to go for Horn Leech to Horn Leech only. We have to go for Horn Leech right now because Water Absorb Ogre Pond's on the field. Pachirisu slowly dying. Probably its last turn here. But I'm gonna go into you and... Is Pachirisu faster? Because I'd rather the Super Fang come out here first. I would rather the Super Fang come out here first. I could follow me, to be honest. I just have to see the speeds. So a burn is just not good. 171, 115. I have to follow me. I cannot take a burn. I cannot take a burn. I just cannot take a burn. I just can't. I just simply can't. So follow me comes out here. Hopefully they're paralyzed, but I cannot take a burn. I simply cannot. Horn Leech, not doing half. I would have loved for it to do half. And Horn Leech flies into this slot. And he's still going to end up burning me, which is tough news. I'm burned. I'm going to get burned here. 
to burn will o wheezing just do me dirty i thought slacking would have been the bigger problem but we're going one and two for today's video our first losing record in a while he's gonna end up sludge bombing me that still does a ridiculous amount of damage and we get poisoned man dude so you get crits you get poisons i get nothing no paralyzed turns i feel like i paralyzed so many pokemon today and they're just not getting paralyzed like miss a turn miss a turn but this one is so over. unless we ivy cudgel here ko you and you be paralyzed this turn or spiky shield <clears throat> it does spiky shield it does spiky shield hold up wait a minute do we have a shot do we have a shot because i can horn leech get back some hp but you survive that and you don't be paralyzed there's just no paralyzes my paralyzes are doing nothing today but i hey, one and two i still feel like we showcase patch Risu rather well not terrible today, going one and two, grabbing ourselves our first losing record in a couple of videos, but Patrisu still thrived out in today's video. Nuzzle, paralyzed a lot of Pokemon, not getting the paralyzes though, so we had the half speed drop, just not wasting out turns with that. On top of that, Super Fang worked really well, especially up against a lot of different bulky Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.